So this is our Saturday morning. Wake up to rain. I don't mind too much because I've got a lot to do inside. A lot to get organized. We've got a really busy couple of days ahead. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do some meal prep. The meal prep I did last week really saved me. I didn't actually know when I did it quite what my week was going to look like. And all I can say is I'm so, 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 so grateful that I did it. And so let me tell you what I'm going to do today. Well, not today. I'm going to do 100 things today. But one of the things I'm going to do today, starting now. Come on, Ellie, inside. Do you want to stay outside? So I'm just starting to cook up this chicken that needs to be cooked up because it was in the fridge from the other day. And so that needs to be cooked up. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I've started cooking it. I'm going to go and do a Woolworths haul at some stage, probably today or tomorrow. This is the some of the meat specials that have been in the freezer. Now, when I do meal prep, I like to use fresh meat. So whatever I buy at Woolworths, I will then go on to make meal prep. However, these things are sitting in the freezer and why not use them? So I'm going to meal prep these this food for this weekend ahead because it's Saturday morning really early and I know this looks like a lot of food but believe me the teenage boys and everybody this this will be pretty much a weekend's worth of food I'd say so let me see what I've got here I just pulled out everything that's left in the freezer and we'll just get creative so I've got these chicken breasts so I've got one two three four of those it's going to be a big chicken <laughs> it's going to be a big chicken weekend uh, i've got one lot of pork mints one lot of beef mints i've got some lovely legs and some turkey mints so this will be for jess um, and my husband and i because we're on our healthy thing at the moment one lot of chicken maryland this is quite random i probably should put that back because i think we've got enough chicken i might put that back because it doesn't really fit with the other things this is chicken drumsticks, so I'm probably going to do an oven chic tray meal. Sort of a new idea to me. Uh, and I've got some kebabs. So, yeah, I'm going to put that back and create with the rest. So that's what I'm doing. And this will, this will take a while to defrost, so I'll be doing this later on this afternoon. Though I might defrost in the microwave, whatever I need for lunch. Oh, and I've got two bits of salmon out here for my husband's lunch, so it's just defrosting. So now I've made my decisions, I'll just put this on a plate so it doesn't go everywhere, water doesn't go everywhere. And yeah, I'll get back to my chicken creation. I'm thinking maybe a chicken fried rice, what do you think for today? Okay, so here is the chicken curry. I, I just started cooking it and I forgot I was actually filming. But you've seen me make this a thousand times. So today I basically just cooked the chicken up to a sort of browned and or just cooked on the outside. And then I added garlic and I added coconut cream, curry powder, tin of diced tomatoes, and some frozen green beans. And that's just gonna simmer away. I make this all the time. It's so, so easy. It takes like, I don't know, six or seven minutes to get it ready. It's gonna simmer away for about 20 minutes and we're done. And it can be lunch today. So I'm happy about that. So just to stay completely organized, I'm just going to make the rice, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm just gonna make the rice now so it's done. And once it's cooked, then pretty much the boys can help themselves to it as they get hungry across the day. Yum, this looks amazing. Amazing. Okay, it's not even lunchtime and this is the end of the chicken curry. I had to put some aside for my husband as the teenagers came in to devour. I've got him a serving here and whew, could have missed out then. Okay, and here is my lunch. I've, I forgot about it actually and I've overcooked the broccoli. They should be right still, just a bit crunchy. Corn cobs and some chicken kebabs. I'll probably take two, maybe one, maybe two. And I'm sure the others will just disappear. <laughs> we'll see how quick they disappear. It's 1.46. Oh, I forgot to show you how good it looked. I was, I was eating it and then I thought, oh, I forgot to show you my plate. So it's a bit messy, but this is it. I've eaten some broccoli already and <laughs> of course I've had a bite. Yum, that's good. Okay, so with the leftover meats from the freezer, the boys have requested with the beef mints lasagna, so I'm cooking up a quick lasagna for dinner. And I also do gluten-free crumb chicken with the chicken breasts. And with the drumsticks, I'm just 
marinating them in a whole bunch of things that needed to be used up, like a little bit of tomato sauce. The chicken drumsticks are in the bag here. I've added in everything. Everything but the kitchen sink. No, that's not true. So in here is garlic. Um, there was this had bits and pieces left over, so I just basically rinsed out the bottle and added the last of that in. Added in gluten-free soy sauce, uh, salt and pepper. Um, did I add salt and pepper? The garlic, and just sort of just odd. Oh, any sweet? Oh, no, no. Oops. Now they're jumping out of the bag. Hang on. So they look great. I'm going to start cooking those. Actually, I'm just going to go and check on my lasagna. Here is my lasagna cooking. It was a real quick throw to get one, but it looks delicious. Okay, these are ready for the oven. I'm just going to throw them in now. They look yum. They smell yum. I think they'll be yum. Okay, and okay, and the next lot of mints, which was pork mints, is becoming nachos. So I've just cooked this up. Same way, I've actually used a pasta, the Lego's bolognese sauce to go with this one, and spinach. And I'm just going to serve it up with some of the guacamole that I got from Costco, and some cheese, and some nachos chips, or tortilla chips. Seriously, no wonder they love it. Look how good that looks. That's the lasagna out of the oven. A little tiny bit burnt around the edges because... Why? I'm not sure why. A little bit. Probably the oven was a bit hot. But looks amazing. It's going to be amazing. So now they've got options. Nachos or lasagna. Okay, it's chicken crumbing time. So I'm crumbing the chicken. I'm starting out, I did buy some gluten-free crumbs today, but I'm starting out by using up what I've got, which is these free from gluten free crumbs. And I'm quite happy with these, but I really do like the ones I got today in the, in the shopping hall, which is the like panko style ones. So, yep, I'm going to get started on these and get them into the oven. First lot is the oven. Crumb chicken. Okay, drumsticks have come out. They look a bit, some of them are a little bit burnt on the skin, but the skin can just be pulled off. See? And they're nice and moist and juicy underneath with a great flavour. So that's them. Brilliant. So Tom and I are playing the Yahtzee while I, while, I, while I do the crumbing. Tom and I are playing Yahtzee and he's beating me. And the way we're playing is he's throwing the dice because my hands are messy. So he's throwing the dice for himself and then for me. And I'm making the choices. And well, I don't think you're beating me yet. That's an No, I'm smashing you. No. So we're playing Yahtzee. And this is the next meal that I'm throwing into the oven. So it's two chicken Marylands. The light in here is really bad, I'm sorry. Okay, so it's two chicken Marylands on the tray there. There and there. Two bits of red capsicum, the leftover corn cobs, and the broccoli. Uh, whatever you call it, broccolini, whatever you call it. So I'm just going to throw I'm just going to throw that in the oven as well. Uh, this is some more chicken going into the hey, oven yeah. and this is the lovely legs with a bone in and one more yeah, breast. The, the boys are discussing football. It's okay. No. Uh, what was I going to say? Because I've got this a lot of egg left, I'm going to actually do some crumb sausages. I think that would be yum. Ugh. No, they, they'll be really good. I think they'll no, be really I good. Cool. You haven't had it before, have we? No. Okay, so we're going to try that. So the sausage crumbing was a fail, so obviously you guys probably know this, you can't crumb sausages with skin on them, so that's fine. So I'm just using up the egg as a bit of an omelette to put in some fried rice that I'll make soon, once I see what's left over. Score. Okay, Tom's going to show you the score. 248 to 141. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's what you call a little bit of a... A beating. A little bit of a beating. It's a very bad score that I got. <laughs> Are you filming? Yes, I'm filming. That's not good, is it? No. 48 to 141. Poor mum. What was it? 248 to 141. I just roasted you. I think that's the worst score I've ever got. Yeah. You, you didn't. You, you weren't even uh, close to being your ass. That was fun anyway. The only luck you had. Okay. Tom's still gloating about his win. <laughs> okay, so this is the first lot of crumb chicken. I can't remember if I showed you when it came out. So there's three pieces of that. And then this is the lovely chicken legs that are basically the drumstick with the bone in it, but without the bit that hangs off. Uh, so that's crumbed with the other crumbs. So this is all gluten free. And then this is another chicken breast done with the bigger crumbs and two more of those lovely legs. So we've got that whole bowl of crumb chicken, gluten free. 
Okay, I got chatting with my husband and just keep cooking and I haven't kept recording. So this is the chicken Marylands that's out of the oven with all of that and we're probably going to dish some of this up and eat that tonight. I'm just going to put these two in the oven to cook while the sausages are cooking. I told you that the crumbs didn't work but I just thought I'd cook the rest of the packet of sausages. Put me ahead for my meal prep tomorrow. And I've just, and the turkey mince from this morning, I've just created, I've thrown so many vegetables in, I've thrown spinach, I've thrown in um, broccoli, and mixed veggies from the freezer, so I've got that, and I was going to make fried rice out of this, but I think I actually might use it tomorrow in muffins with some of those little gluten-free sausages that I've got for breakfast before we go to basket and the final the final thing I wanted to cook tonight was this piece of salmon Jessica's already cooked her piece before she went to work so I'm gonna cook this piece of salmon in the air fryer she said it was amazing she's already yeah she's already had hers and it was amazing so I'm gonna cook that and then that's everything cooked from this morning that I left out and we're all done and I'll show you the final result in a moment Okay, so thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it the thumbs up please subscribe to my channel I would love to have you here and otherwise I'll see you on the next video see ya bye